How about you do surgery over here? Now do surgery over there, and now do surgery. You guys have bombarded my comment section saying I should check out Michael Reeves' video of how he built a surgical robot. We're gonna react to it, and throughout this video, I'm gonna be answering some frequently asked questions about the Da Vinci robot. Da Vinci surgical system is the most advanced streamlined surgical experience for minimally invasive surgery available surgery in the world the today. Grid. I can build that. How's everyone's global health crisis going? If this guy can build a Da Vinci robot, he's gonna get one of these golf claps for me. Let me tell you, those Da Vinci surgery robotics rat are ripping hospitals off. Look at this, $2 million for one robot. They can spend that on a couple hundred bandages or like one ambulance ride in the US. We can build a better surgery robot for a lot less. The sarcasm here is heavy, but it's true. Like if you look at an itemized bill from a hospital, nothing makes sense. A Tylenol dose is $50. A bandage, like he said, is a thousand. But those numbers are so horribly inaccurate because what the insurance actually ends up paying to the hospital is a completely different story. The biggest flaw in Da Vinci's design is that it relies on these clunky, slow robotic arms for movement. Say you're operating on a patient's foot. He starts screaming out in pain. You gotta get up to his face, smack him around a little bit, make him shut up. I don't know if you guys saw my surgery simulator video, but I literally was smacking my patient around <laughs> trying to see if he's awake. Slow it, and they don't have any travel distance. Instead, we're gonna mount the surgical tools to a rail system that can move anywhere on the operating table. Time out. I think the reason the Da Vinci robot doesn't freely move around the patient is because you want it locked into place when you're doing a minimally invasive procedure. You want it done in a specific area. I mean like millimeters, millimeters matter. That's actually one of the selling points of these uh, robotic machines is that they have a better range of motion uh, than the human hand. They also are more precise. And when the surgeon actually looks inside with the camera, they can see 10X the magnification so they can be more accurate. This is the homing sequence. It figure outs the bounds of the machine by measuring the amperage of the, of the motor, on the motors when they stop. <laughs> yeah, you can make it, you can make it do this. Maybe not as stable as you'd want it to be, but yeah, it's just a prototype. Can you imagine if you're getting wheeled into a surgery as a patient and the thing is just shaking all over the room and the patient's like, what, that, that's what you're operating on, doctor? And they're like, don't worry, we're just calibrating the X and Y axes, you'll be fine. I would be scared. It looks like it's handling small movements pretty well. Y axis action, okay, that's not that bad. Okay, it's fine, it'll be fine. We can probably just go ahead and make the final version. All I'm thinking in the back of my head is imagine this is how the actual Da Vinci robot was created. Like someone was just sitting and they were, they were testing it with 10 pound plates from the gym. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh God, oh please. Yeah, okay. Please don't break it. Yeah. For me, I learn how to use a new iPhone app. I get excited. This guy created his own robot. I got this VR hand tracking camera off of Amazon that works super goddamn well. So you just take the hand coordinates from this, pipe them in the surgery robot and bing, bang, boom. Michael, we need to connect and we need to do some kind of surgery simulator with this kind of VR technology. We gotta do something epic. Like we gotta perform surgery on a grape. No, 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 no. On a peach. No, no, on a nut. How about you do surgery over here? Now do surgery over there, and now do surgery- Okay, this is the most medically inaccurate part. We don't just start doing surgeries on different parts of the body, and that's why this whole concept is horribly flawed to begin with. <laughs> you didn't need to be able to operate on all different parts of the patient at the same time. That's why the Da Vinci has all these little arms and gadgets that move around at different angles because the area you want to go in, then you want to have the flexibility to move around in that area. But you don't want to be in the patient's kidney and then in the patient's brain the next second. If you're doing that, some shady stuff is going on. Unlike some other surgical systems, we've run a gamut of tests to ensure our machine has power. I'm gonna stab a pineapple with commencing the operation. <laughs> If you're gonna be operating on a patient, you want it like to be, if you move your, your little finger like this, it moves exactly like that. Cause if it does anything more than that, you're gonna be cutting into an artery. Patient's not gonna do well. Insurance is gonna go up for you because you done malpractice and it's really a solution or a equation for disaster. What's the term? That experiment was really fun, but also really dangerous. Michael, if you watch this video, please do not ever stick your hand in where there's a shark moving around sporadically back and forth. I was worried for your digits. Your digits. 
terms of usability in a hospital setting, I'm gonna give it a two. It might do really great in like the kid's lab when you're trying to get them interested in a Da Vinci machine, but they obviously can't play on a $2.6 million machine, but they can play on yours. Speaking of the Da Vinci machine, I actually saw that clip that he said of the grape, the performing surgery, and I've seen memes galore of it, but I've never actually seen the grape video. It's a red grape, I prefer green. Look at that lighting system. What kind of surgery is this? Do you think this is like a, uh, a prostate bio? Oh, they're doing a little flap on the grape. Is this in slow motion or is that how fast the machine moves? I know minimally invasive surgery generally takes longer and the patient has to be under anesthesia longer. Sometimes that could make certain patients who want minimally invasive not good candidates if they can't be under anesthesia for a long time. I've had patients ruled out uh, for robotic surgery just because of that. No, are they skinning the grape? Ooh, that's good. You know, sometimes I do that with my teeth before I eat the grape. These machines, uh, the little robot's hands, have such amazing range of motion, it's better than our human hands. And that's what makes this super special as a type of technology. Because when you have to go into tight areas, into tight crevices, you need really great range of motion. And remember, when you're looking at this with the naked eye, it's hard to see where the skin begins and the grape ends. Strike that, reverse it. Where the grape begins and the skin ends. So you wouldn't be able to do this, but with that 10X magnification, you can go in and really see the skin come off and be super accurate. Wait, so that's it? That's the whole viral grape video? How did all the memes start? LOL equals laughing out loud, TMI, too much information, BRB equals be right back, TTYL, talk to you later, TDSOAG, they did surgery on the grape. I'm gonna text my nephew, let's see. T, I'm gonna do all caps, TDSOAG. Oh, my nephew instant answer. You wrote a question mark. I'm like, you don't know what that means, bro. It means they did surgery on a grape. Duh, he's typing. Mad old. Did he just say mad old? You're mad old. He just turned 16, he thinks he's a tough guy now. Tom Hanks, they did surgery on a grape. My beautiful wife was by my side throughout the whole surgery, my rock. This thing does not look like a grape. This looks like a gummy character. Nurse, you've been in a coma since 2012. Patient, they did, did they finally do surgery on a grape? We can't do the surgery, you're going to die. I thought I was next in line. Unfortunately, a grape came in. Oh my God, that's so funny. I mean, it's not funny, it's dark, but it, it would never happen. I wanna answer some of the top questions that I get from patients when they are either considering getting robotic surgery or someone has recommended it to them and they're afraid. Who does the surgery, the doctor or the robot? The surgeons are controlling the robotic device 100, 100%. What are the differences between robotic surgery and open surgery? The difference between robotic surgery, which is considered a minimally invasive surgery compared to open, is generally faster recovery times, less bleeding, less side effects. Patients actually spend less time in the hospital as a result. Basically, you're making smaller incisions, and at times, you don't even need to make incisions, obviously, depending where the procedure is. Now, not every patient is a candidate for robotic surgery or minimally invasive surgery, so it needs to be discussed on an individual level, but something to also keep in mind, robotic surgery is really expensive, even when compared to other minimally invasive surgeries. Are there any procedures where robotic surgery doesn't work? There's absolutely procedures where robotic surgery doesn't work, and we have to tailor that to each individual patient. So when I have a patient that comes to me for a surgical clearance, one of the questions the surgeons ask is the cardiac status of the patient, the uh, comorbidities, what is the patient taking medication-wise? All of these things are factored in, in addition to the type of surgery that needs to be performed. Some surgeries just fare better as open surgeries than minimally invasive. 
Can any doctor or surgeon use a Da Vinci machine? Any doctor or surgeon that's trained on a Da Vinci machine can use it, but you do need that level of training. You can't just come on and start using it like Michael Reeves, where you can come on and figure out how it works. No, it's more complicated than that. You absolutely need to be trained and certified. Will robotic surgical systems make doctors obsolete? Doctors are humans. Humans need to treat humans. While there's certain things that we can allow the AI to do, help us better identify certain things on uh, radiographic images, help us uh, find information faster, they cannot replace the mandatory human connection when treating a patient. Are the results of surgeries conducted with Da Vinci worth the cost? This is one of the most important questions and why robotic surgery is actually a hotly contested subject. Remember, you have two different options for minimally invasive, laparoscopic and robotic. Robotic at times can be really expensive and not worth the benefit. So where do we go from here? Ideally, we wanna lower the cost of these robotic surgeries so that they can replace laparoscopic procedures but not cost the healthcare system something like three to five billion dollars a year. Also, there are certain things that can be happening in the near future where we can improve these systems and perhaps get the evidence to show that they're better than the laparoscopic minimally invasive surgery. We'll see. Doctor. Yo, they did surgery on a grape. What does that even mean? No, they did surgery on a grape. That's why I sent you the acronym. They did surgery on a grape. I still don't get it. In 2018, they did surgery on a grape. In 2018, they did surgery on a grape. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it, bro. What do you mean? I'm in a car with these guys. Does that mean anything to you guys? <laughs> Performing surgery on a grape. Is this something to do with circumcising? <laughs> what? My latest memes video is absolutely hilarious. It was quite nutty. You'll get what I mean once you click on it. Or check out me playing Minecraft. I actually reviewed some hospital builds that other Minecrafters, Minecrafting gamers have created. Click here for that one. And as always, stay happy and healthy. Which one are you clicking though?